All right, the Smallville mail sack in Adventure Comics 319. Sounds so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of this, I think, is Superboy crapola. I don't think so. No? Am I wrong? This first letter is talking about the Superboy reprints, I think. Okay. This one says, Dear Editor, this is from... Um, Marion Foreman, Little Falls, New Jersey. Dear Editor, now that Adventure Comics features the Legion of Superheroes in every issue, uh, which they have since issue 300, this is 319, with Superboy stories only taking up one-third of the magazine, don't you think it would be a good idea to rename the letter department to something along the lines of letters to the Legionnaires? Seems to me that such a change would be giving the Legion the extra recognition it so richly deserves. And it deserves that recognition even up to this very day. And guess what? What is that? The very next issue is the first Legion Outpost. Oh, I thought you were going to say, and they still don't get the recognition they deserve uh, here oh. 70 years later. Maybe 60. I don't think it's seven. Like a person could live and die from the, the point that this letters page was published until today. And the Legion still wouldn't have got the recognition it really deserves for being among the greatest superhero teenage future cop future fighting the future and in the past teenage the their kids the editor says right you are and we'll get to work on a more appropriate title for this page immediately in the meanwhile for your valuable suggestion, we are sending you a, fuck, a year's free subscription to this magazine? I know. It's crazy. Wow. Like, most of the time, they're like, we don't, we're not the no prize, guys. Thanks for the name of that character that we're probably going to make live, uh, uh, money off for mm -hmm. the next 60 years. Yeah, we're going to make a movie about this character in 2022. Like, this person didn't even name it. I know. They just said, maybe get another name. Marion Foreman, the luckiest Legion fan in history. You got a whole year subscription for saying, hey, change the name of the letters column. Maybe the editor was trying to get a date. <laughs> <laughs> he he loved Just the young the fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a creep. <laughs> yeah, this one, this next one from uh, Sharon Rubin. Trumbull, Connecticut. Dear editor, in your, in your January issue, number 316, at the beginning of the story, you show a dedication to Prody 1 and have Lightning Lad declaring that Prody 1 saved his life. But in your special feature, Origins and Powers of the Legion, you state that Prody 1 saved Saturn Girl? Which version is correct? Uh, and he just goes through some stupid mental gymnastics to say that um, Prody saved both of them. Prody is a two-time lifesaver. I didn't think it was that much of a stretch. I mean, that's that's the truth, right? Oh, I guess. But how come they said well, that? Well, except it, it's not the truth because he didn't really say Lightning Lad. Yeah. Depending he on that, which version of the story you go with. He saved the name Lightning Lad because uh, otherwise it would have gone unused. Mm -hmm. And Saturn Girl. Right. He, he provided some very valuable assistance to Saturn Girl. Indeed. Indeed. Who knows for how long before Lightning Light even passed away. Is Validus a brain in there or is he like Prody? <laughs> it's like a purple blob up there. I thought it was a brain, but maybe maybe it's Prody. It could just be a Prody. In Prody form. Like it's like a um a Gundam for a Prody to pilot. Like he right and, the, right. and the little the little it's like a windshield for Prody at the top. The kids have Prody. Yeah. Well, how come how come Garadan Rand's never turned into a blob of protoplasm? They didn't have the shapeshifter power, but they had the mental lightning power. Right. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's because his mind went in there, right? That's the unfun part, but or the less I mean it makes sense, but yeah. He he just mentally took over his body, right? He didn't like morph into right. lightning lad. That's how I first interpreted it. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty crazy. Once I heard, once I once I realized it was just a mental, like it doesn't seem like Lightning Lad didn't have that much going on up there to begin with. Yeah, I, I kind of like it. I definitely like the idea of 
him of Prody taking the form of lightning right. lad and just right. being lightning lad after that. But then, yeah, where does the lightning power come from? Right. But see, he, he could have maybe got that because they do that weird ritual where they have their, they hold lightning rods and then it goes into the, the dead body. So it could be a shapeshifter who has been imbued with electrical lightning powers. Right. Like if they had done a story where like not only is his personality different after his resurrection, but his powers are maybe a little weaker or right. are demonstrated slightly different. Yeah, that would be great. That Then you could have twin children mm-hmm. who exhibit mental powers, lightning powers, Oh, and sh- um, shape shifting powers. That's a lot. And then, and then <laughs> somewhere along the line, Saturn Girl would have to be like, "Yeah, I was dating two guys, Garth Rands, and my 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 teammate's pet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Chameleon Boy's pet. But he wasn't really a pet, and I knew it. I was progressive. In the dark, you can't tell the difference." <laughs> Couldn't see that he didn't have red hair or hair at all. Felt a little squishy, but <laughs> he was he wasn't squishy in the right places. Not, not for long. <laughs> oh boy. Bits of Legionnaire business. Bobby Flash. Bobby Flash, Jersey City. That's Damn. a good name. There's totally a real guy named Bobby Flash out in Jersey City, New Jersey, right? <laughs> He's got <laughs> He's got like a garage where he soups up Camaros. He's like, way back in 1962, I I got my name in Adventure Comics 319. That was me. For as long as I can remember, I always wanted to be a good fella. <laughs> hey, Bobby Flash. I'll tell you one thing. Bobby Flash is probably pissed if you, if you read what he mentions. <laughs> he idea. Said, he says, "Weapon lad, he has the power to create any weapon in the solar system." <laughs> I love these these uh, <laughs> child generated legionnaires. Right, right. Like they're always um, like, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. He has all the money. He right, can right. kill anyone. He has all, all the powers of all the characters. <laughs> but it's funny that is. That's kind of what Duplicate Boy ends up like, though, because his weird thing is he can, I think he just has to watch people use their powers. It isn't like Rogue or something where he has to touch them. He just, Mm -hmm. if he witnesses you using the powers, he has the power, which seems like specific to me in a way. It makes me wonder if they built that idea off this idea. I don't remember when, um, when the Heroes of Lalar showed up. Right. It may have been prior. This is to this, pretty but... early, though, right? Three nineteen. Yeah. This is maybe the furthest back we've gone, right? I mean, they don't have their they don't have the rings yet. Yeah, that could be. Here, I'm I'm about to look in the who's who in the Legion Check and find out when the here. heroes of Lalar showed up. First appearance of in the Legion is Adventure three twenty four. The heroes of Lalar. Whoa, that's very close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like five months oh, later, they're like, oh yeah, Bobby got... Flash is pissed. Duplicate Boy, created by Bobby Flash of Jersey <laughs> City. I was the real one, creator. I was robbed. Roberta Davidson of New Shrewsbury, New Jersey. Is that a real place? How come all their letters are coming from New Jersey? Little Falls, New Jersey. Flat Jersey City. New Shrewsbury, New Jersey. Well, it's another girl in driving distance. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, <laughs> Mort lived in New Jersey. A uh, song girl. She can charm any person into obeying her orders by singing to them. That sounds like charma. She just speaks. You don't have to sing. Right. A lot of siren, siren characters that goes back in mythology. Antidote Andy. Concoct an antidote to neutralize any disease, poison, or magic spell. That's power. That's very powerful. Like you add, you add in the magic... Add in the magic spell part. Like, yeah, there's nothing can touch you. I actually sort of like that idea. Like, it would make sense, especially for a large team like that, that if they could find someone with, like, healing powers of some kind, they'd have him on staff. Mm-hmm. 
be very useful in a war. Disease, poison, or magic spell. And like if if a person has like um oh like um like some kind of long term disease, you know, like the kind of disease you have your whole life that's more of a disability mm -hmm. or a different ability. Can this person I mean, not that those people need to be returned to to some kind of quote unquote normalcy. Could he could he ease that different ability if it's a hard if it's a hardship on a person? Well, I mean, we're cutting the line really fine here, but it would be like a difference like some dis some things might legitimately be a disability in that maybe it is hampering the quality of their life or maybe they're not going to live as long or it's yeah as opposed to something that just makes you different than another person but not less not that either does but right exactly like what if i <laughs> what if i'm a hero and in battle i get my arm blown off mm -hmm. can this character antidote andy restore my arm like let's say i'm lightning lad and a mm -hmm. giant whale a space whale has eaten my arm and he could restore my arm, and then I don't have to go and seek revenge. That's like a plus plus. Yeah. Like, he could help get revenge out of the universe. It's such a dumb thing to get revenge up for, especially when you can just get a robot hand. Like, if they blew his dick off or something. <laughs> <laughs> I would understand. Don't you think in the 30th century he'd get a robot dick? <laughs> it's probably not the same i don't know like if maybe there's advances in <laughs> if he had a robot dick would she have needed prody i don't know would like the i mean metal conduces electricity too i mean there could be some <laughs> terrible mishaps yikes <laughs> <laughs> he would only be yeah. able to do it with one person after that <laughs> right right and she probably wouldn't want to because she's his sister Oh, well, maybe there's like a rubber lady or something, <laughs> insulator lass. <laughs> like, yeah, there's there must be somebody who's made out of glass, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Diamond Death from Karate isn't Kid. Glass, condu glass is conductive, isn't it? Is it not? They maybe make those not. insulators on all the power poles out of, or they used to make them out of glass, right? Oh, okay. I don't know why. But they're they're different colored glass, mm. and neon tubes are made out of glass. It's true. It's true. Maybe remember remember that movie Glass, the Shyamalan movie with Samuel Jackson. I did not see it, but I know what you're talking about. He's also from um, um, Bruce Willis. <laughs> that guy could be hooking up with, assuming, the fandom is okay. With a right multiracial, but he had a disability of his own, right? That's right. He like was he in was a just, wheelchair. Like he didn't turn into glass. He was light glass. <laughs> yeah, he could break real easy. One guy I was unbreakable, really... and one guy was very breakable. Right, that was the idea, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. <laughs> like, like he had soft bones or something. Like, uh -huh. I'm serious. <laughs> no, I know <laughs> that was the plot. I only saw it one time, and I remember that. I think but that was the last time I saw an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Did you know there's two sequels to that movie? I've heard. It has not enticed me to see them, but maybe wanna, they're good. I haven't watched them. I want to watch them. Right. I think I think like M. Night Shyamalan is maybe underrated. I don't know. Those movies are like they're probably okay. I I kind of everyone hates it, but I kind of like the the Steins movie. But that's the other ones I don't really. I remember okay. liking Signs. Of course, there's Mel Gibson in it, who is yeah. just a fucking anti-Semitic, racist piece of human garbage. Has no business living on the same planet that people like right. you and I live on. Right, right. But yeah, Signs was a fun movie. Mad Max. Yep. Yep. I, I liked I liked the Lethal Weapon movies when I was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched them lately? I watched them maybe two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> they're dumb no, as shit. Getting, they're so stupid. I, I'm too, I, I've gotten too old for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> kids movie. The first Lethal Weapon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the final scene is just Mel Gibson and the bad guy 
having a fist fight and it's like 10 minutes oh. long that's how they solved the like, movie i thought they were like kickboxing with their shirts off. it's kind of like that. it's raining it starts raining they're in <laughs> right, la right, and it, right. it starts to pour rain and right, they fight right. out there right <laughs> like in la it rains like three times a year you know right right <laughs> or it did back then it rains a little more often now because of the global the climate crisis some people say that's not a real thing but the the people who watch our youtube videos they know it's real or is it it doesn't seem to be in the 30th century well it's because they have a machine that controls the weather and it actually makes the the climate crisis worse by controlling the weather that's right we just talked about that yeah son of a bitches Chuck Davis, Ferndale, Michigan. He proposes the character Medusa Maid. She has the power to turn any living matter to stone and back again. Well, I think thinking about thinking about how Dream Girl can turn certain parts to stone. <laughs> yes. But yes, they would never uh, turn back again. Wow, that could be a problem. <laughs> um, wasn't there some character? Like they changed the name of the character, I think, because it was too dumb, or they never used it. But there was talk of like a Medusa lad or a Medusa boy or something like that who had the same power. It was kind of strange because it was a, a a male character with the Medusa name. Kid. That was either. Kid Medusa? Is that in like like 1963 or something? Maybe. That I don't seems know familiar. where I pulled, I don't know where I'm remembering that from. It almost seems like something I read in a letter column like this. But mm-hmm. um, of course, there would be a Medusa just a couple of years after this. The Jack Kirby character. Oh, oh yeah. But she doesn't. She doesn't turn people to stone. She just has the long hair, right? Right. She has the spider girl powers. Yeah. Spider girl come first. I hope so. They both have red hair. Yeah. That is crazy. Magic mistress, right? This is a little bit like a white witch. A little bit. Oh, yeah. Andy Purcell, Laoma, Tennessee. She's a descendant of the wizard Merlin and has the power of super sorcery. How do you inherit sorcery powers? Is sorcery a, a an, an inherent, inborn power, or is it something you learn through, you know, long a lifetime of study? Well, I think in some fictional stories, people seem to have a predisposition for magic, like it runs in the families. Vincent Price had, oh, oh, like people who have like a a. a heightened um senses like the people who can who can become psychics and fortune tellers and right. who can see ghosts right. they have a they have a different level of sensory perception than right. the the, uh, the rest of people and that right. that's um that's a genetic trait or or it's like uh this this isn't quite the same maybe it would still count as inheriting though like like it's the family business or something like uh oh how long ago was Merlin supposed to be around? Like this is Knights like, of the Round Table shit, like in one thousand BC or AD rather, like a thousand. Yeah, I think years it was ago. like, I think it was like a thousand years ago. Yeah, and so, which is why I think it's crazy that DC has never thought of doing like a Legion set one thousand years in the past, because I think that would be a fun Elseworld story. Thousand years in the past that would be that would just be the knights of the round tape right right but it's like a perfect place to like an else worlds where superboy gets goes a thousand years back instead of forward right? right but then they're they're all sort of medieval or magic based characters instead yeah you know what i mean but but like analogs to the future versions you know what i mean they did that Elseworlds annual. Was that what that one was like? I thought they were like Wizard of Oz. Yeah, they did that one too. But then they did a Knights of the Round Table Legion one. They did? Uh, yeah. It's, oh, uh, shit. 
Let me God see. God damn it. I'll look. I'll see if I can. It. Let's see if I can find it. Well, it's it too good of an see. idea not to uh, thought of. But it might still have been in the future. Let me see if I can find it real fast. Elseworlds, 1994. I never saw that one. I totally forgot they would have had an annual as well. It still looks like the future, though. Yeah, it does. Is it? Or is it? Yeah, it's set in 2990. Yeah. Mark Wade and Ty Templeton story, Paul Pelletier and Jeff Moy pencils. And then the revolving door of inkers, Mark Farmer, John Lowe, Wade Von Graal Badger, and Ron Boyd. Oh, damn it. We still, did we finish or not? I forget. Magic yeah, we got Mistress. to Magic, <laughs> Magic Mistress. Were we going to? I don't really have too much to say. She got. Yeah, we said. You said, you said she was kind of like a white witch. Yeah, kind of. Anyway, bottom middle. That is the issue that came out the, the same month that John Fort drew. And it's a Legion Jimmy Olsen issue. Oh, yeah. Wow. So that should be an issue we do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me get back around to the silver. I don't own that one. That's Adventure Comics 319, Smallville Mail Sack. LOL. 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 See you in 30 days, Legionnaires. <laughs>